Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will look at how we can use Bash Script to organize our downloads folder and move files based off their extensions to relevant folders from the perspective of someone who just knows that Bash files exist and don't know much about it. Keep in mind that PowerShell has superseded Bash Scripts, so it is recommended to learn PowerShell if you are interested in learning Bash Scripts. That out of the way, let's head to ChatGPT to help us write some Bash Scripting. Our first question is, what can we automate with Bash Script? Provide five examples, and it does that. We have five examples. First one is file management, which we will explore today. Which says file management, Bash Scripts can be used to automate various file management tasks, copying, moving, deleting, as well as creating backups of important files. Feel free to read through all of the other ones and test out different ideas. Let's ask ChatGPT to provide us a sample code. So tell it give me a sample code for file management automation using Bash Script. And it gives us a code to move files from one folder to another. Not very useful. Let's keep prodding and narrowing our questions. It gives us some narration. Let's read it quickly. So it says that we have a set command which is used for defining the origin and destination folder. So you can see here, this is where it defines the origin and destination folders. So the xcopy, it says that it copies everything including hidden folders, subdirectories and system files. We have some information on switches. Feel free to read up on them. Moving on, let's ask it to modify our code and move files to different folders according to extensions. So my question is, how can I modify above code to move files or extensions to different folders? So this is the modified code it gives me. So far so good. I'll keep going and ask it how I run this code. So it gives us some information. Let's keep going. How do I run the code? So it tells me to run the bash script, follow these steps. You can copy and paste this information, the code above in a notepad file. Save it as dot bat batch file. Right click and run as administrator. Moving on, we only want ChatGPT to, to look at our downloads folder only and it revises the code. So my question is, I want above code to look at my downloads folder and create extensions based subfolders in my downloads folder as well. And now it gives me another modified code which we are going to copy and save as batch file. So let's copy this, open a notepad, paste this here. What I'm going to do is save it as .bat file. You can give it any name you want. So I'm going to say organize files.bt. Make sure you have the extension as bat. Click on save and now you will notice that this new file will appear with this icon with two gears in it. This is a batch file. Let's open this side by side. Let's run the batch code. You can do by double clicking or you can say right click run as administrator and we see that files have been moved to newly created folders other than the xlsx file here and the webp file here. So if I open the document section we have some files here. Images section has something as well. Videos has nothing because we did not have any video file. Now let's edit and read the code a bit. I'm going to press enter here so the batch file closes up. Click on edit, maximize this and start reading it a bit. So this is where it sets up the download source and destination folder. So you can see this is the profile name. This is the downloads folder. In this section you can change the name of the folder. So if you want images underscore x you will change it here. I'm going to just reverse it back. I don't want to names change. Then what's doing is, is checking if the folder already exists, then skip. And if the folder does not exist, then make new directory. So mkdir means make new directory. And then it moves the files. So for images file, it's using these extensions. For document files, it's using these extensions and, and so on for the video file. We can modify this a bit and add xlsx in here. So we have to copy and paste this and say dot xlsx. So we want the xlsx files to move in the documents folder as well. Click on save, close this. Let's run it and let's see if the stock file does move. We can see the stock file has moved, but our script gives an error where it says on multiple lines that a duplicate file name exists or file cannot be found. So let's copy and paste all of our code and tell ChatGPT that we are getting an error and how to fix it. I'm telling that below code is able to move the files successfully but gives an error, duplicate file name exists or file cannot be found. And it gives me a refined script which says that it's going to check and add if not exist command, check if file already exists in destination before moving it. So let's copy and paste this code, edit this file. Now keep in mind that we have to fix the source and the destination for some reason it has changed it. I have it copied here. We also have to add the xlsx again. This is a bit modified code but if you look at it you'll see that you have this source option then the extension then the source and extension and follows the same pattern so what i'm going to do is copy this and here i will just say xlsx and for the images folder i'm going to add webp file as well so again copy and paste this section and here say webp if you're not sure about the extension you can go and view that click on file name extensions and it will show you the extension for each file take it back click on it again and it will remove it that's done let's close the batch file let's run it again and for this time this file should move into the images section double click it and you can see that the 
error has disappeared and our file for web b which we recently fixed has been moved to a web folder close the code open it and we can see the web b file has been moved we can confirm this by adding the extension and we can see it has successfully been moved you can look at the document section all of the files are here and the video section is empty because we do not have any video file and voila all our files have been moved successfully you can now put this on a windows task scheduler to run at a specific time of the day for which i have already created a video you should see a link to it on screen right now so that's it for this video i hope you find the video helpful if you do consider subscribing to my channel if you have any ideas or questions post them in the comment section till next time happy learning